Well, I have a problem with one of these, uh, as some people call them, uh, dice roll companies. This is a free tiger. And I got it because it was uh, super nice and uh, purple. And it's got kind of a lavender uh, uh, aluminum anodized backspacer there. Uh, but the, uh, the detent ball fell out. Uh, that's the only liner lock I've ever had that on. Um, luckily, I was able to uh, secure it, and I have it here in this little tape. It's like it's a ceramic bearing. So I'm going to try to press fit it back in. See if I can't, uh, you know, actually use this knife or at least play around with it again. So... At least it's really simple to uh, get inside of. Interesting choice to use basically the uh, the same pivot for the, uh, the clip screw on the other side. Certainly a uh, cost-saving measure, but one that I'm not certainly against. It's kind of clever in general. So, okay. Well, there's that. And I'll just move that spacer. Hey, at least it's D-shaped. That's nice. Alright, so yeah, here we are. Here's the, uh, the empty hole. I'm going to try and shove that thing back into... I think the way that I want to do it is essentially place it there, wrap both sides with uh, this microfiber cloth, and then try to uh, pinch fit it back in, and we'll see what happens. If I don't, you know, immediately lose this um, stupid detent ball. <laughs> Oh, let me in. At least I was able to uh, recover this darn thing. I'll just use another knife here to uh, cut my way into it. It'll probably help out a little bit. Yeah, what had essentially happened was I was playing around with it while I was just laying in bed because, uh, well, that's just something I do. And, yeah, it uh, just came out and felt wrong, and then the blade was super floppy. So, so there we go. It is in place. And hopefully it will stay that way as I fold this over. Feels like it at least. I felt a little thing there. Okay. Well, it seems to be uh, reseated. I'm just curious on if I uh, can force it any more than that. No, it really doesn't seem like it. Okay. I was actually uh, really interested in this knife in general because uh, it's got a uh, 14C28 end blade instead of a D2, like uh, you know most Chinese companies are doing right now. But it seems like they're starting to uh branch out because people are well we're getting bored of it 
We want some new hotness. And 14C28N seems to uh, really offer a good value for that. Um, yeah, you got the, uh, the ceramic ball bearings sort of guys in here. Really small. But they do sit into the liners on both sides rather than uh, rather than the blade itself, which for whatever reason I kind of like. I don't have a uh, justification for it, but uh, I do. So there we go. <laughs> All right. Well, the blade stop is uh, currently in place there, so I can go ahead and slap that guy on. I might as well just, well, there was, I guess, a lot of that sitting there. Oh, well. I can work the excess out. Slap this guy back in place. At least it's LT8 hardware, because they're using the same kind of, uh, screw in the pivot that they would other places. And this is the side that I want the clip on. Because I am right-handed, like most people are. And what worries me about this whole press fit thing, and I know it's kind of how the everybody does it, but uh, if it does, or if it has fallen out, um, what's to cause? What's to keep that from happening again? Like, is the uh, the hole for it too loose? And I don't have a, a great answer for that. But I will say, in general, this thing is really built built well. Um, has a uh, a nice chunky, solid feel to it. Um, you know, the liners are nice. It has that um, kind of scalloped out area there to uh, make flipping it a little bit more comfortable. And this guy, you can actually use the thumb studs on because it's. Um, because the detent isn't um, severely difficult to uh, use, um, it's still a little bit more uncomfortable than uh, I would personally like, but at least it's, uh, you know, possible. I like that. But uh, yeah, I also do like the, uh, the kind of black washers kind of thing going on on the blade. I don't necessarily know what they would call it. I think that's what uh, Kershaw's name for it is, is black wash. Yeah, you can see all that excess uh, KPL coming out there. But, uh, yeah, I have, you know, put my standard edge on here, which is, you know, super nice and shiny. So I do want to, uh, at some point, do some cut testing with it. Just to, you know, see another company's 14 c 28n and this guy wasn't bad either he was like 30 bucks i think somewhere right around there so yeah i guess that was uh fun um this one was uh was probably really really lucky to be able to find uh the detent ball we got the ceramic the problem with ceramic is um well it's not magnetic, so <laughs> and you saw how minuscule the, these things actually are. So, uh, yeah, I'm lucky I was able to find it because it was um, sitting on my bed sheets and I was able to, uh, you know, move things around and be able to find it. So, hooray. Uh, yeah, so I will uh, continue to play around with it for a bit and uh, see if I have another detent failure. If I do, um, then uh, this knife sucks. <laughs> but if I don't, I do like the design. 
and uh, feels nice and chunky. I do like the blade design with the uh, almost kind of clip pointy, I guess, kind of thing going on there. Uh, it is uh, fairly thick behind the edge, or behind uh, for the stock thickness. It does uh, come down. Okay, it's not the thinnest thing in the absolute world uh, coming down to the edge, but that's okay. Alrighty, well, that's pretty much all I really had for this thing. Just uh, trying to actually fix a detent ball that uh, fell out. So, that was fun. Alright. Well, as always, uh, I appreciate y'all. And uh, have yourself another wonderful rest of your day, yo.